All right, we'll, we'll get back to those options that he gave. Uh, Fuentes has a one-inch height advantage. However, it's Hamilton with the two-inch reach edge. We are in the Bantamweight division. There is Hamilton. He said he's going to win by KO or submission, or his opponent will wish it ended right, ready? with a KO or submission. Doesn't leave a lot of wiggle room. We'll see how it ends. It is Hamilton and White inside La Jaula. Excellent wrestler and the Juco ranks decorated as well in the NCAA ranks. Oh, Big head kick. Beautiful head kick and that landed flush. See the excellent footwork from Hamilton. He has a pair of springs underneath him. Oh, Fuentes turning the favor. Strong lead ride. Double jab two. Oy. Picks up to try to parry that teeth kick and throws his own head kick and just barely misses. Goes to southpaw. Oof. These are some fast movements. Yeah, like you said, Max, he's got spring in his step. Very explosive. Oof. And that spinning back, back kick is brutal. This is a guy who's locked in with the training. We talk about the wrestling, but he, he looks like an excellent kickboxer right now. Super athletic, you can just tell. He's just... Yeah, Swint is an athletic guy, but he pales in comparison right now from what we've seen in this opening minute. Fuentes, who started in Goju Ryu, a Japanese martial art. And uh, DJ Fuentes said that his favorite, his favorite move is the spinning back kick as well, but he tripped on it. Great head movement by Fuentes to avoid what would have been a you, massive kick. CJ looks like a tremendous athlete, like the way he's moving in there. I don't see anything effective yet, but he's certainly showing he's agile and uh, unpredictable. Fitness will be a big issue here because certainly in the case of Hamilton, he is emptying the chamber in this first round. How big is that chamber? We'll find out. Well, if it's as big as his mouth, it's not going to be an issue. <laughs> I think it might be. He does, doesn't look phased. No not at all. Mouth I mean, breathing or anything. Just getting warmed up. Yeah. Now, and he's also making his Combate Americas debut, so he's definitely got a lot more to prove. The last time we saw DJ Fuentes was on the Combate Estrellas 2 in, in April 2018. Campbell, you mentioned Mike Easton and the story about the Transformers and I can change my style on the fly. CJ will see how nimble he is, showing a lot of things to Fuentes. Good jab gets through. And Hamilton's been eating at that lead leg of Fuentes for this entire first round, and you got to wonder if chopping down that leg is going to be playing any part in Fuentes' mentality. Campbell's number underneath if you want to text send him a text. Send a text. Can't feel the phone call at this point. Inside leg kick for Fuentes. Trying to slow down Hamilton, but to no avail. Nice switch kick, head kick from Hamilton. Big flurry of punches backing up Fuentes. Talk of the shorts here for Hamilton as he resets. Good left as he held the leg. Close quarters here. Nothing going to the ground, though. A lot of activity. Not much really happening. Fuentes is doing a good job of getting out of the way. Yeah, that's what he is. He's, he's been all defensive at this point. Yeah, yeah. At some point, that's going to have to change. Third fight for Fuentes in Combate Americas. Beat Joel Scott, takes a left foot to his face. Another head kick gets through for CJ Fuentes, or CJ Hamilton, excuse me. By the way, speaking of Fuentes, we, we mentioned the Goyito Perez loss in his last Combate fight. Those two actually fought in 2010, and he beat Perez to DJ Fuentes. Corner asking him to chop the leg again. Nice body kick, gets through, oh, but he oh. gets a knee for it. Badly. Makes him pay. That seemed like it should have hurt a lot more, but Fuentes walks right through it. 30 seconds to go here in this opening round. A night where nothing has gone the distance. Nothing's even come close. One of our five fights making the second round, and that's been about it. 
Chopping at that lead leg again, CJ Hamilton. It's been a uh, rely more in that southpaw stance, although is an orthodox fighter, but he seems to like going lefty. Yeah, he can switch it up. Yeah, that and he's switching it up just so DJ can't get a focus. Well, it seems to have worked. Fuentes unable to do anything offensively. He'll reassess things here in the corner. Looked like that hurt. But the rest of the time, it was a lot of movement. There's a lot of uh, lead leg kicks from CJ Hamilton, a lot of head kicks that are getting through. Um, but they're not landing yeah, the leg just kicks flush. I'll give you. The leg kicks I'll give you. They, those hurt. Yep, and the head kicks. By the way, according to Nick Kalikas, who sets the uh, the betting odds, CJ Hamilton closed at minus 2,000, so uh, maybe the, the biggest favorite of the night. Okay, so let me get this straight. you got to <laughs> throw down $2,000 of your own money to win 100 You are correct. No, thanks. It's not a for big everybody. gamble. It's not for everyone. I mean, if I had a lot you of money for fun, gal. sure, you know. CJ Hamilton stalking, trying to squeeze out to that right side. He's, a, he's the Southie, so he always is going to be circling away from the power of Fuentes, which would be to our left and his right. An exchange of punches. So he's always circling out of the power hand of Fuentes, which is going to his right. When will Fuentes put the foot on the pedal? That's the question, right? You know, even if I'm saying CJ's not doing as much as the activity would indicate. That left hook almost took the chin right off of Fuentes, but he's got nice head movement and distance awareness. He got out of the way. Otherwise, it would have been a there clean it is. sweep. DJ firing away. Let your hands go, DJ. Let it go. Oh, big Ooh. uppercut. By the way, we're in the Bantamweight division. Worth mentioning, somewhere our Bantamweight champ, Gustavo Lopez, has that belt, I'm sure, over his shoulder. Head kick, spinning back fist, double there from Fuentes. Neither connects. And just out of the way by inches. Big left, big overhand left for Hamilton. Now they get in tight. Nice. Uppercuts. Looking for that knee. Instead, just uses the fist. Beautiful job. And he doesn't ever stalk him. He resets himself. He doesn't go chasing him. He resets every time. Hamilton. Fuentes needs to cut him off. You see how he's out circling to the oh, right? He needs Fuentes. to cut him off. He got a couple in, but then quickly Hamilton gets two of his own. You got to stay on a guy like this who's real squirrely, jitterbug type guy. You got to stay on him. You can't keep letting him squeak out to the right because that's where you know he wants to go. You got to cut him off. You got to corral him in like cattle. I don't know if it's an inside leg kick that you want to do to stop him so that you can throw your left hook, but whatever it is, you got to stop him. You just got to take the movement away. CJ versus DJ. Middle of the howler, McAllen, Texas. Ooh. Throwing a couple forearms in the middle of some of those lead right hands. Oh, and they crash. Nice chop to the inside or to the outside lead leg. And Hamilton is just stepping on another gear here. Nothing really has hurt DJ Fuentes. He's walked through most of those, but he's he has, but you can it. definitely see that it's playing a part. It's adding up. And you see he's squeaking out to that right side again. By the way, you can see outside La Jaula, Al Alberto Del Rio, and alongside it, Sin Cara, a good friend of Combate Americas. Sin Cara made me my own CA mask. Nice jab, I right hand, yeah, knee to the that. head, and a left, right hook for Hamilton. Hamilton's throwing a lot of volume. Looking a little worse for wear now. We didn't see that in the first round. Not a, not a lot, considering of the output, but has to be frustrated that nothing has really hurt Fuentes. Yeah, it can be frustrating when you're throwing everything but the kitchen sink go. at this guy and he just keeps coming forward. And that's just the way that these fighters are here in this organization. Uh, it's also, I'm, I see a lot of activity from CJ. And I don't see a lot of payout. That's a problem. Well, these guys are not going to just be put away with one punch as they're tough as all. No, that's right. And they're 135, so that doesn't usually happen. <laughs> 
There's the lead leg for Fuentes. He got oh, slapped oh. and he got hit hard with that right hand. Shakes it off. He shook it, but the leg's a little spindly legged there. I'll give CJ that one. Good oh. kick in the lead leg. Although oh, Fuentes oh. rocked CJ on the return. Nicely done by Fuentes. You can't give this guy oh, any space. Oh, uppercut. Stay on him. 15 you seconds. Him. Stay on him. Implement your own game plan. Be first. The tide is turning. Be first. There is a fake uppercut. and an uppercut. CJ snaps back. Yes. Oh, why does this round have to end here? Why? What are you about uh -oh. to lose, Fuentes? Right. Let him fly. Let him go. Yeah. Uh, but uh, CJ's just like bouncing all around. Yo, he, like I said, he's an athletic guy. He's got spring in his step. Some bounce to the outs. Ladies and gentlemen. A little uppercut and a flurry of punches off. by Hamilton here. Nice uppercut that lands, but he gets returned on by Hamilton. Knee to the body. We're going to see the punch that DJ threw here that hurt him. Nice outside leg kick from Fuentes, and he pays for it. Eyes wide open. C.J. Hamilton. D.J. Fuentes. C.J.'s a little less bouncy. Hamilton in oh, the yeah. white shorts, southpaw stance. Or actually, he's Good orthodox combination. right now. DJ Swinging for the fences now, now CJ fires. Oh, big flurry oh, punch. DJ got, got poked hurt. in the eye. Got poked. Ref didn't see it. We're still game. He says no dice, even though he's only looking out of one eye. And that is true fighting through adversity. Jacob Montalvo there, our official. Fight on as both fighters picking up where they left off at the end of the second round. I think what we've seen in one round in, or in round one and round two is that Hamilton has not been able to put away Fuentes and he's thrown everything at him. Therefore, he can't hurt him. Therefore, you got nothing to lose. Throw it all at this guy. Oh, now it's some ground game for the first time and oh, into the guard. Oh, no. a head kick and he tripped and he's right in yeah, the Yeah, that guard. was an inadvertent takedown. Right, he didn't mean to <laughs> no do that. No one planned that. No, can opener. Hamilton trying to break the guard. And the guard is open. Look for some good ground and pound. Back to his feet as Fuentes. Wow, that beautiful. That was good. That was good. Fuentes charging in with a little bit of a telegraphed shot. And Hamilton slugs it off, makes him eat those hips. And they're back to the center of the jaula. Back in there, and the crowd, they have been a real star tonight. Don't oh, stop, CJ. Oh, man. Or don't. Fuentes, you stay in there, boy. Big left uppercut. There you go. Let him go, dude. What do you got to lose? Go for broke. Yeah, because he's gonna. I think the judge is gonna give the fight, you know, to CJ. Right. Unless CJ he does has something. to go. He's got three minutes. Well, and and rightfully deserved by Hamilton. He's been piecing him up all night, but not able to put him away. And Fuentes keeps fighting back. Oh, I think so far they both lose. Oh, that. Good over top left from CJ. Remember their bantam weights, Cam. Puts the yeah. chins down. DJ connects. Fuentes has not been able to, to stop fighting this entire time. No matter what Hamilton has thrown at him, he's continuing to come forward, continuing to throw punches, and he's staying in there. CJ missed with that big power punch across at the end. There you go. Oh, Eight, it's a big nothing. knee, but it shakes it off. Halfway through this final round. CJ pushes, and there's a time. Is there another finger in the eye? I believe so. He don't care. He's going well, to take his time to rest. He can't want to get a point deducted here, even though it's the first warning. Meanwhile, I can remind you to text Campbell. There's the number. There's the number. Come on. And I, I would imagine Juliana, DJ, saying this happened already once before. Doc's in the ring. That's a real doc, too. <laughs> Not like the TJ docs? No, he must have just got off a shift or something. <laughs> He's <laughs> fresh off working graveyard, just came straight to the arena. How many figures? Let's see. see. There's, a, there's the eye poke right yeah. there. Yeah, and that's a no-go. It's an inadvertent eye poke. He's trying but to he push it off. Twice, twice inadvertent. Yeah, He's trying to push off. Unfortunately, the ref didn't see the first one. Um, and he definitely saw the second one, but that's, he's not doing it on purpose. He's just trying to use that to, to get him off of him. Like, get off me, bro, push off. And unfortunately, in the, as fast as these guys are moving, it ended up in his eye. But like I said, Fuentes is tough as nails and he's not going away. Oh, CJ 
withdraws after missing badly. Big, Big kick oh. to the head. Nice CJ with the right. Great left. Is there that power punch to end this here? A strike of some kind. A little nice fake faint from Fuentes. Nicely done by Fuentes. Yeah. I feel like the confidence grows more and more as the fight goes on for Fuentes. Yeah, but it may be running out of time. First round, he just sat there. It was a punching bag. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's too late. But he's, he's still in there. It. He's still in there, and he's still got a puncher's chance. And CJ's putting his, his chin out there, and any time could get caught. There you go, Fuentes. Hey! Here we Ooh. go. It's a Donnybrook. It's a Pier Sixer! Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was something. Okay, they're warmed up now. They have a new definition for swinging for the fences. They really turn on the end of round two and now the end of round three. Nice jab. Keep that jab in his eye, Fuentes. And Hamilton is still just fresh as a flower, ready to spring into action at any time. Switching back to left for CJ. One last time under a minute to go. Nicely done by Hamilton. Nice uppercut, straight left. Say what you want about C.J. Hamilton. He's looking to finish this from the pillar to the post. I remember Fuentes his quote. Came. What were the three ways? Win KO or submission, or opponent will wish it ended with a KO or submission. Might have a fourth option. And Fuentes still coming forward and taking every punch that Hamilton has. But Hamilton's just got a little bit more pep in his step. DJ Fuentes, he, he buckled for a moment there. Over the top again, 15 seconds. Fuentes backing up, trying to get his punches in. Hamilton just going hard. Both of these gentlemen are going hard. Yeah, it's been a shooting yeah, range. It all. Oh, man. But nothing hit the target for either That's one. Oh. Hey, guys, I guess it went three rounds. Huh? After going all three rounds, the official scorecard reads as follows. El juez Chapa anotó 29 a 19. Judge Chapa scores a 29 to 19 in favor of Fuentes. A favor de Fuentes. El juez Maldonado anotó 30 a 27 a favor de Hamilton. Judge Maldonado scores it. Oh. 30 to 27 in favor of Hamilton. Hmm. Y el juez Wes anotó. 30 a 27. Judge West scores it 30 to 27. In favor of the winner by way of split decision. A favor del ganador. Por decisión dividida. The Autobahn.